It's Tammy the Canadian Sampar. Good morning. Oh, there's Lance's hand. <laughs> um, we're being quiet because um, everybody in the house is sleeping. So we have some company. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go super um, quiet because you have to be able to hear me. So everybody's sleeping. We have company, and they wanted to be on the road by nine o'clock, and it's currently nine o'clock, and they're not even up yet. <laughs> so. Uh, good morning. We're going to make a beautiful card today with the paper florist dies. That's these ones here. We've used them before. There's two full sheets. How many dies are in here? 18 dies. So I've done the cutting already. And, um, and so we're going to put the flowers together. We're going to do some embossing. We're going to do a little bit of ink blending on the flowers just to give it some depth to the project. So some ideas there for you. And we're gonna get going. So this is my little crafty break before I have to, I have three assignments due tomorrow. So mm. this is the crafting that'll happen for today. So let's flip you around and, and get organized. Good morning. So here's my, uh, oh, here's my desk where I've got our stuff cut and ready to go. But look at this. Look at this little beauty right here. You know what this is? This is the mini catalog. So it goes September to December. And there's the back. I'm not allowed to open it yet. So it starts September 6th. Goes until January 3rd. So if you're a demonstrator, you know what it looks like in here. And because uh, we get to order early. So I put in my online order already. But this is what will be coming and it has our fall just gonna bring up your comments it's got fall and Christmas and actually I saw a Valentine's um, sentiment in here as well so it made me think oh yes I should be thinking about this catalog for uh, coming up you know into the new year into January February that kind of thing to plan early all right so uh, this card is inspired by somebody named Sue Moore, M-O-H-R. And so let me just show you what we're gonna, what else we're gonna use. We're gonna use this. And then we've got a couple of mini ink blending brushes. And then I've got these colors, Bubble Bath, Moody Mauve, and Early Espresso. Paper florist dies, if you're just joining. And then I've got this embossing folder. It comes in a pack, where's the other one? Here it is. It comes in a two pack. This one's like splattered, like uh, come, almost like if you had an animal that was on, uh, like in the playing in the rain or something to do with water, this would be like water droplets, or you could uh, also use it as paint. Like if you ran it through, you could certainly do it as paint splatters. And then this one is a nice textured background, almost as like as if you were doing construction and you were laying putty, I think is what it reminds me of. So we're gonna run this through the embossing machine here. And then I'm gonna grab a, sent a sentiment from Charming Sentiments. I haven't decided which one yet. We're gonna make our card first. And so all of these little bits that I have cut out, uh, I've done on the mini, our mini stamp cut and emboss machine, which is this guy here. So we, they, these fit in the mini perfectly. And you know in the catalog, there's a little icon that tells you what fits the mini. Let me just see if I can find one quickly. Uh, yeah, like this one. Oh, all of these actually. So see on here where it says mini, 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 mini. So these are, that's a good indicator that if you only have the mini, then um, you know what's going to fit. So it even works for the bundles as well. We've got all of these on this page, all have the little mini. Yeah. All right, so we have a standard A2 size card base which I'm gonna fold in half uh, in basic white. How's everybody's morning? 
Hi, Terry and Gail and Pam. Top of the morning. So I'll fold that with my bone folder. And then I'm really gonna set this aside. We're gonna do a top folding like this today. So I'm gonna set that aside. And then let's put our piece of white. Uh, do you wanna know how big this is? Let me tell you. It is three and three quarters by five and a quarter. Three and three quarters by five and a quarter. So it is it is ta uh, taller than this, but I'm okay with that. The it doesn't um, like the design still looks good even with the space top and bottom. I mean, you could trim it down if you wanted to to fit perfectly. Um, it, this is going to layer over this card, so I wanted it to have a little bit of um, a little bit more white. So we're going to make a sandwich. Now, I don't normally put embossing through here. So this plate is worn, but it will tell you what the layers are. But uh, wait a minute. Where's my... Hmm. I need another plate, I think, for my embossing. I'm just looking around my craft room as we're talking. I don't know. Let's try it. I don't think it's going to work, though. I might have to go to my big machine. Usually there's a gray... Um, no, it's not gonna work. Usually there's a gray one that we use for embossing, but I just realized that I don't know where that is. So one moment, let me just emboss this. know what I'm talking about this is this is from the big shot like the big machine and I want this for my other that matches these size plates but well that's gonna be a thing that I'll have to find today morning Christy and Kyle has joined us so that's what that looks like so you have your embossed and your debossed so embossed and then debossed where the fibers go in so that and that is done and then this is gonna be tone on tone, like so. All right, let's deal with all of our flowers. So we have here this and this. These are from the uh, Delightful Daisies, what's it called? Uh, oh, Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper. So you could certainly cut these with just regular card stock. But I thought having DSP, because you know how you have scraps and whatnot, then you can add a bit of texture and layers to the pieces. And then these are just basic cardstock to give you an idea. The camera is not working now, but I'm wondering if I'm close enough. I think I am. So I want to do something. So let's take these white ones. And so these are going to, we're gonna add a little bit of, a little bit of um, interest. So you could leave them blank if you want. So we're gonna do a little bit of ink blending. So a couple of different ways you could do it is that you could squish this together to get ink on the lid. And then you have a bit there. And then you could pick up your ink here or you could pick up your ink just here like this. So I'm just ever, I'm just gently touching this here and then let me show you what it looks like. It's very subtle. So usually we pick it up and then we start off, off of it, but I'm not going to because I don't have paper. And then you, and you can go wax on and wax off. <laughs> That's a movie reference. Rubbing it this way versus rubbing it this way. That was Karate Kid reference. Okay, so we're gonna add just a touch. Oh, there I am, boom. Facebook is like, yeah, welcome back. Oh, and now I'm gone. 
I can still see your comments though. So I'm just, so be careful because these are dainty. You don't want to get really crazy with it. And I'm just focusing the ink blending to the middle. I mean, you don't even really have to, let's just dab and see what happens. It's very similar. Uh, it's a bit more blotchy, but you get the idea. Let's do this one. I'm just thinking if you're going to add color to it, uh, like I'm holding it, but don't get really crazy with it because it's very dainty. So you might rip the paper. You know what I'm talking about. So we're just going to add various shades. What's everybody doing this morning? Coffee, tea? Anybody on the road or out and about already? Last weekend when we were in Comax, I tried to convince Lance to let us get a dog, but he was having none of it, none of it. <laughs> and, uh, and then I've been thinking all this week, well, if he, had, if he had said yes, and then we had to prepare to get a dog, I would be getting up every morning. I'm already up at six to leave for work by 6.45. I would have to get up before that to deal with the dog. Uh, so I'm gonna just glue these white ones together. So I'm on my silicone mat here, that's what this gray thing is, and I'm gonna add just a little dab. You need less than you think because it's gonna ooze. And you could, whoops, certainly add many layers to the flower. We're gonna keep it simple I had a little bit of glue on my finger there. And I'm just gonna do, see this is gonna be too much. Let's go here and spread the love. And we're gonna go there and then there. So just be mindful of the ooze. There. So we're gonna be back up to, up, um, to Comox next weekend traveling for work. So that's a little bonus trip. Hi, Zana from the UK. Ooh, what's for dinner tonight? I remember last time you were having pizza. Okay, well, I'm gonna get rid of these bigger ones because I don't want them. Now, uh, if you recall, we have this bag that I store in here and then this will be where my extras go. And then eventually you'll have a whole slew of them to make projects. So now what I would like to do is I'm gonna, so sometimes what you can do, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but you can go small to big or you can go small to small and big to big. So I think this is what we're gonna go for, big to big and small to small. And then I wanna just see what the, so now I'm bringing in uh, Moody Mauve. Uh, yeah, Pam, you're right. If I really want a dog, I should be asking Willow. It's true. It said on there, like I was doing some research, it said that uh, apparently this type of dog that we were thinking about getting uh, likes to chase cats. I didn't tell Lance that part, but I would have had to disclose my findings had he actually entertained my, my uh, request, my family request. Zachary was happy with it. He loves animals, but you're right. I think um, I think our friend Willow would not be happy with that. No idea what you're having for dinner. Zana, that's okay. Uh, our company, we had uh, steaks last night for dinner, barbecued steaks. So this Moody Mauve is quite dark, so I am just rubbing some of it off here on my little scrap piece of paper. So you can see the difference. I'm gonna show you the three. So there's just the DSP. Maybe I'll do it on a white piece so you can really get the, so my skin tone doesn't interrupt. And then there's the little bit of blending and there's a lot of blending. So that's kind of the difference. 
Your dog was henpecked by the cat. <laughs> I don't know what henpeck means. I mean, I think I know what it means. Uh, Christy, you're doing coffee, Zumba, brunch, gardening, and fix the hot tub. That sounds like a massively productive day. Good for you. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go here. So you could uh, throw down some glue dots on here. That would be quick and easy. So if you were to uh, Google search or you know wherever you get your inspiration from, whether it be YouTube or Pinterest or Instagram, if you search paper florist dies, you can see there is some really spectacular projects people have made uh, that are amazing inspiration. Okay, so I have two of these. You could leave it like this, but I think I'm gonna uh, get rid of, so this one's a bit fussy because you have to add these little, well, you don't have to, I'm going to add these little tips of the flowers. So I think I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get fancy and I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna pick up, watch this, prepare to be amazed. So I'm gonna do this one this one. Look at that. That's so clever. Boom. And then this mat I'm using because as you know, the, uh, the glue does not stick. Look at us coming along. So just these ones left to go. And I think what I'm going to do is same, same color on color or sorry, big on big. He was held down by one of the cats. She wouldn't take no for an answer or why. <laughs> that sounds really cute. <laughs> That's funny. Cats sound like characters. All right, so these pieces here are cut from same die set and they're cut from early espresso. And we are going to, these are the centers of the flowers. So I'm gonna add it here. That's probably too much. Um, let's go. What do I wanna do? I'm just looking at this other design that I'm, this design by Sue. Her, um, if you're interested in looking at the card that I'm casing, Casing is a nice way of saying I'm copying it because that's what we do as crafters. Uh, is aromasandart.com. That's the gal. Uh, I'm going to go here with this one. So, using the white glue, you know, you can move stuff around a little bit, which is helpful. Oh, you went to a crop today. Zana, that's good. That's where. I don't know if it means the same in UK as it does here, but that means that you, um, you go to like a venue and you take all of your crafting stuff and you um, spend the day crafting with a bunch of people that you may or may not know. That's what a crop is for us. It's fun. Usually you pay like an entrance fee, 10 bucks, 20 bucks for your table. And then, and then you just craft your little heart out for the day. Uh, Lori, what kind of a dog were we in? You know what? I can't remember the name of it. It's a very long name. Christy, maybe you remember the... It's in my phone. Because I looked it up. I can't, I can't even remember what kind. It's a beautiful, beautiful dog though. I guess all dogs are beautiful, aren't they? So I think this is an extra. And what I'm doing is, you could leave these flat, but I'm, I'm holding and then I'm... I'm zhuzhing. So it's just paper, right? And it'll bend to your ways. So you could get fancy and use your bone folder if you want. Uh, I don't think it's necessary per se, because I've, I mean, maybe if you were doing a lot of layers to the flower, you might wanna 
uh, zhuzh each layer prior to putting it together, depending on how crazy and fancy you're gonna get. And then depending on what you do with the card, it might, you know, all go flat anyways when you put it in the mail. All right, so we are ready with all of our bits and bobs. I'm gonna bring this to the side. Let me know if I'm not in camera anymore. So here's our embossed piece. I'm gonna go bumpy side up. Lori, I'll find out what kind of dog and I'll post it. There's that. And now this is essentially our canvas. So we're gonna do it dry first. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. Wendy, you are gonna clean your house. Oh, you had company for the week, yep. That'll do it. How is your new place, Wendy? You must be all settled in deciding if you love it or not love it. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Daniel. So much for being on the road by nine, buddy. I had an amazing sleep. Oh, well, that's good then. Exactly. Compliments to the host if you had a great sleep. Exactly, I, I will give you your Airbnb an extra star. <laughs> Airbnb. So funny. All right, so this is kind of where we're at as far as how we're going to do this. So really, you can kind of put them however you, you want to put them. Like so. It's coming together. Now we're going to add a little white. So if you if you do it dry like this, and then you have to take it all apart, you know, to get the glue under things and reset, take a photo of it and then have your photo next to you and then copy yourself. I just love these, this flower set. Like how easy was that? And it was fun putting the, I think I'm gonna put my sentiment there. And it was fun, you like building the flowers. So I've got these as extra and then this one too. And this side, I, so this is the green, but this one, it's almost reminding me of something um, for fall. Okay, so I think I have it kind of how I want it. So let's I'll actually do the flowers first and then I'm gonna tuck. Am I? Sure. This one. I don't think I'm gonna pop any of these up. As I'm putting these down, I'm thinking, mm, maybe I should pop, but I am not. There we go. Now, remember what I had mentioned before about your greenery. I don't know if it'll be an issue for us this time, but as you put your greenery in, if something is getting stuck, then just snip off the bottom because nobody's gonna know. You just want you just want the, the piece that's gonna stick out. So I'm just lifting and tucking. Lift and tuck. To kind of put our elements together. This is probably my favorite part about crafting, is the part where you get to add all of the pieces to make your project. All the layers. Good morning, Michael. Welcome to Crafty Saturdays. Uh, yeah, Wendy, you're getting used to a different space. No crafting and sewing room yet. Those will come. I'm sure you have space in your mind as to how that'll go. So Michael, speaking of new pets, Michael has a new kitty cat. Milo, is that the name? Little Milo, it's like a ragdoll kitty cat. So stinking cute. Little Milo. We were uh, talking earlier, Michael, I was trying to convince Lance to let us get a dog uh, last weekend. 
He's flat out no. But then I was thinking, do you walk Echo first thing in the morning and before you go to work? Is it a lot? Lance is telling me it would be a lot. I wouldn't like all the walking and everything. Okay, so something that has happened here is there's some glue because I put glue on this one and then I slid it in and it oozed out some glue. So a uh, couple of things, you can uh, try and get rid of it if you, I'm gonna cover it, but you could try and sort of scrape off some of the glue. You could wait for it to dry and then try a glue eraser or you could just cover it up. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, you could leave it, but it might end up being like a sticky, a sticky mess on your project. So that may or may not be a thing for you. When do you love your walks with Peanut? Yeah, little Peanut. I think having a dog would bring joy for sure. I'm gonna go here and there. Now I do have one more, but I think it's too much. I think I'm, I think I'm just gonna leave it. So now we're gonna do early espresso. Oh, so I'm just gonna set this aside to dry, and then we're gonna juge. Um, this, this is a new ink pad, and it's super tight. So we're gonna just make that not a thing. So this is my chapstick trick. Yeah, Lori, you and Wendy have dogs named Peanut. Lori, you're so cute. You have, you have like a little jacket for Peanut. It's so cute. Uh, all right, so we're going to, I think I'm going to use this other side of the scrap piece of paper because like, why not? There's no sentiment. All right, so let's go, hey there. Hey there, friend. So for this stamp set, if you have it, I don't recommend putting it on there. I leave it on this acetate because then when I go to use it, I uh, take it out of here, ink up the whole thing, then put a piece of paper down so you have a whole sheet of it, and then line up all the sentiments to cut them out. And then you have a whole bunch of at once. Just for you, where's my hay? Hay there, oh here it is, hay there. So, this one we're just gonna fussy cut around so it doesn't really matter where we do it. So straight up, straight down, boom. So one of our house guests is a younger lady. She's almost a teenager and Last time they were here, I have had an extra paper cutter and she's like, oh yeah, I'm doing some paper crafting, you know, but I'm not sure about this and I'm not sure about that. And I'm like, well, you know, Amica, you have come to the right place, my friend. So I gave her a paper cutter and some other tools and things. And then when she came, uh, when they, they arrived on Thursday and then yesterday she said to me, she's like, this is like magical words to me. She says, oh yeah, I've already started making my Christmas cards. And I said, well, that is amazing news. And then she said, uh, and I said, where do you get your supplies from? And she's like, oh, I get some from Amazon. I get some from the dollar store, you know, some different places. They live over in Vancouver. And, I, and she says, but I'm almost out. So I need to get some more paper. And I said, oh girl, come with me. And so I got her set up with like a whole bunch of of uh, crafting stuff, Christmas crafting paper, some designer series paper and some embellishments. And yeah, it was super fun. She was excited to get all the stuff. And then we had dinner and, uh, and she said, uh, do you mind if I go and craft for a little while before bed? I'm like, yes, of course, Amica, you can craft your little heart out girl. So I got her in here in my craft room and I got her all set up at my craft desk with all the things. It was fun. It was cute to see her sort of get all excited about crafting. Zach used to get excited about crafting, but now it's not cool. All right, so I've just got a big dimensional. 
and I'm putting, I am, uh, so obviously I'm popping the sentiment here. Hey, Michael, did you end up going to the uh, Phillips Backyard Brewery thing? The party? I saw that you might be interested, but there was a gal last weekend. She's called Steph Strings. Steph's Strings, I think. And she was playing there. She's from Australia. I have her on my favorites playlist now. She's very good. She said she was going to be at the Phillips Backyard Party. Backyard Barbecue, I think it's called. So I think I might just go down here with my sentiment. Yep. Right there. Now, final touch. Uh, I'm not going to put any ribbon on. I do love my natural twine. Oh. Okay, what do you think? Twine or no twine? I just want to put a couple of little dots there. Maybe these ones. Twine or no twine? I'll just let Facebook comments catch up. I'm trying to figure out what kind of a gem I want to put in the center of those flowers. So many options. I think I'm just going to stick with the basics. These two right here. Um... A wee, t a wee twine bow, Pam? Just a wee bow. I almost feel like these um, flowers need a little wink of Stella too, actually. Can't leave flowers naked without wink of Stella. Okay, this is a glitter brush. It's ever so slight. So when, if you um, run out of glitter in your brush, it's got little words on here where you squeeze the barrel and then you'll see it come through. Don't do it over your project though. Ask me how I know. It will blob out. That's a technical term, blob out. <laughs> so it's just to add a little bit of interest to our flowers. Totally optional. And it gives a little, I might just do one actually. It looks beautiful. Twine, Marilyn says twine. Nancy, loose bow on the open right space would look good. I think you're saying up here. Okay, here's the, can you see the glitter a bit on that flower? All right. All right, just a wee bow. I do my bows on the spool, so I try not to waste. Uh oh, Lori says no twine. All right, girl, well, let's just see. Maybe up here, no. No, I think Lori might be right. I'm not feeling it. Maybe if I had put the sentiment up here, maybe I'll go smaller. This is not going to be, this might be the hardest decision I have to make today, hopefully. No. I think even when it gets this small, it might not even be worth it, you know? I think I'm going to have to go with Lori. I don't think it's necessary. No. I'm out. But I do want some more bling. Uh, oh, so let me tell you, I'm going to have a, I'm getting back into my classes, which is going to be the take your pick workshop. So that's when you come to my house and you make as many cards as you want. They're set up in baskets and then you grab a basket to, to make a project. So that's going to be September 5th. So we're going to have fall. I'll have a bit of Christmas, maybe some Halloween. So there's limited space there, but it's $10 setup fee and then three bucks for each project that you make. And then I will be posting some other fall classes. So I'll do my card buffets, usually the first Saturday of every month. And then 
I do one class other than that, but things will ramp up for fall and Christmas, my favorite time of year. And I have a two week break of school after tomorrow. So that's prep time. So there's our project for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I like the color scheme with the sort of rose gold sort of colors. Yeah, just the Wink of Stella and the gems. Uh, no, I didn't like it bigger, Nancy. I don't think it's necessary. Anyways, you'll make your own and then you'll decide what works for your project. Thanks everybody. I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks for tuning in. It's been a pleasure as always. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.